Palissy Island. It can be a bleak place in winter, offering little shelter from cold temperatures and strong winds. Fortunately, that's not the whole picture for either human visitors or the ever-increasing wildlife species. RSPB's Wallasey Island Wild Coast Project in Essex is a work in progress. In partnership with DEFRA, Crossrail and the Environment Agency, RSPB has planned for the reserve to be completed in 2025. Work has been continuing for about the last five or six years and in the meantime, the coast path along the sea wall is open for visitors. I'm finding out how the reserve is at the moment and then I'm going to return periodically to give an update on the progress of this substantial undertaking. You might like to check out the two links on screen which will give you a background to the whole project. The links are also on the web page associated with this video. Access to the sea wall is through the gate at the east end of the car park where you can ascend the sloping path past the information board. Once you reach the top of the sea wall you have a choice to make. A short walk west inland towards the Essex Marina which by the way has a very comfortable visitors bar and cafe or a longer walk going east towards the River Roach and Foulness. It's this way that you can see the work taking place to transform Wallasey Island into a burgeoning wetland environment. On the north side of the path, the river crouch presents bird watching opportunities both at low and high tide. We're well, just about here, I've reached the halfway mark, and if you want to go on further, then you go across the footbridge, which uh, takes you over the conveyor belt. Uh, from the, the jetty where Crossrail bring in the spoilage from their tunnelling and it's deposited via this conveyor belt on the reserve for landscaping. It's on the other side of the bridge that the path at this time of year or after significant rain can get a bit waterlogged and you might be glad that you're wearing your Wellingtons. Spring and summer, however, provide a very different environment with vibrant colours and additional residents of a different kind. Well, I've arrived at the furthest accessible point and I suppose from the car park I've walked about two and a half kilometres. There are a lot of uh, earthworks here but um, it's still a pleasant enough walk, especially on a day like this, even in January. So all that I have to do now is to walk all the way back again. As the afternoon light begins to fade, lapwings and dunlin are preparing to roost and are often sent skyward by the local raptors. The reserve already supports marsh and ring-tailed harriers as well as short-eared owls, kestrels, buzzards and the occasional merlin. I leave you with these examples of their aeronautic skills.